Coming up on the What I Needed to Hear series, episode two. Do not be ashamed to get you a little fake booty. And pop, pop, pop. Don't be afraid. Because there is nothing worse than going through a breakup and realizing this person isn't even what you wanted in the first place. If I was big single, but I was really, really feeling for a relationship, I would want this video or I'd want someone to tell me. Episode two already? Where has the time gone? <laughs> My name is Electra, and you're watching the What I Needed to Wear series. <laughs> We're on episode two. Oh my gosh, she's growing so fast. As you can see by the title, Stop Begging for Relationships, You Loser. <laughs> So this video is really advice I needed to hear before I got into the dating scene. So hopefully this helps a young little girl, young little critter, <laughs> young little somebody, or maybe even an older little somebody, I don't know. My intention for this video is to either tell you something you need to hear or remind you something that you already know. Because back in the day, <laughs> if I had the older, oop, who is that? Who is that? If I had an older sister or older brother or older somebody telling me what I'm about to tell y'all, my dating life would have went much more smoother and I wouldn't have wasted so much time. So let's get into our first point. This might sound a little cliche, a little cliche, but you need to get okay being alone. Being alone is not a bad thing. Going out to eat alone is not a bad thing. Going shopping alone is not a bad thing, okay? But what is a bad thing is you feeling like you are a weirdo for eating by yourself or you're a weirdo for going shopping by yourself or you're a weirdo for doing any type of activities by yourself. Going out alone is totally okay. Staying at home alone, come here, let me break it to you. It's totally okay. <laughs> I think what I failed to realize when I was getting into the dating scene is that I don't need to be in a relationship to have fun. <laughs> I don't need to be in a relationship to feel loved. I don't need to be in a relationship to feel pleasure. The relationship should just be an addition to your life. It shouldn't be something that you're missing. My first point to combat that would be start spending time by yourself. Start watching TV by yourself. Start having a self-care day by yourself. Start going out to eat by yourself. Start doing activities by yourself. Take walks by yourself. Just spend more time alone. Even if it feels uncomfortable in the beginning, it's not going to feel uncomfortable forever. I would just tell my younger self to get comfortable comfortable being uncomfortable okay if I do not want to go out to eat alone because I think I need a man to do that with me da 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 da, da I'm gonna go get uncomfortable and I'm gonna go be by myself and let me tell you ever since I started spending more time alone I got more comfortable being alone and I realized you know what I may want a relationship I may want a man I may want this and this and that but it is actually so much fun being by yourself like you could actually have a lot of fun alone you could literally talk to yourself some people might think that's weird some people might be like oh you're you're a psychopath if you talk to yourself or only schizophrenic people talking to themselves but i'll have you know apparently according to google very reliable source <laughs> apparently a lot of the smartest people on earth or who have lived actually spoken to themselves out loud and when i tell you when i speak to myself it is therapy, therapy. It is therapy. therapy. I be having a whole conversation with myself like, dang girl, you smart. Or dang girl, that's a good idea. Or dang girl, I just like you and you talk. <laughs> if it's one thing I would tell myself when I was really feeding for a relationship or feeding for some company or whatever, it's to just experience life by myself and see how bad it really is. See how bad I can really get. Because honestly, I promise you it can't be that bad. Being alone is great. It's liberating. Like, table for one? Yes. <laughs> like, hello? I don't know. I feel like there's this weird, like, I don't know if the word is stigma or something, but there's like this weird thing where people think you need people, like you require people to do things. Like you don't require people to go on a trip. You don't require people to go eat. You don't require people to go shopping. You just want it. I'm really just saying this. It's for the people who really do not like being alone, who don't like spending time with themselves, who don't know how to spend time with themselves, spend more time with yourself. And this leads me into my other point, date yourself. 
if you're single or you just broke up or whatever the case is and you're used to having i don't know you're used to having like a man pay for your meals a man take you shopping a man take you this place a man take you that place and now you're single and you don't have that man to do xyz the first step shouldn't be to go look for a man to replace this person the first step should be to take care of yourself lean into yourself love on yourself more it is okay to take yourself out on dates or make yourself dinner at home or breakfast at home or whatever the case is it is okay to buy yourself flowers or buy yourself gifts or buy yourself little amazon packages and type in the type in the gift note oh my gosh i'm so proud of you to yourself oh my gosh i love you and then send it to yourself it is okay to write yourself love letters do you guys do that like it is okay to write down all the things that you love about yourself it is okay to record a video or a audio recording of all the reasons why you love yourself it is okay to do things for yourself that you expect the person that you're in a relationship with to do for you and can i just say when i learned that i could treat myself the way i'd like to be treated by a man i was like there's no way there is no way it could feel this good loving on myself. One thing that I did that really improved my self-love, maybe I'll make a video about self-love later, but one thing I really did that improved my self-love was it is okay to date yourself it is okay to love on yourself it feels good to love on yourself you don't need someone to love you to feel loved of course it's nice and of course we'd all love that but if it's not the season for you to be in a relationship you don't have to wait to be in a relationship to feel love you don't have to wait to be in a relationship to receive flowers you don't have to wait to be in a relationship to receive gifts you can do it for yourself and that is one of the most powerful things i feel like anyone can do for themselves oh my gosh this 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 might this might should have been the first point that I made okay don't settle just because you want to be cuffed okay don't settle for the bare minimum just because you want to be in a relationship now let's talk about this there was a time back in like 2021 where i just really 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 wanted to be in a relationship i really wanted to be cuffed i really wanted to be like yeah like i have a person and like they're mine and da -da 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 -da. and honestly like i did want to be loved for deeper reasons but my reasonings back then were much more shallow than the reasons that i have now because if I was dating with the reasons I had now, I would not have gotten into the situation. So let me tell you, boom, I meet this person and literally the f four days later, we're telling each other we love each other. <sighs> Please get a grip, okay? Now, I am kind of ashamed to say that I was the one who initiated the whole, actually no. That wasn't me. I didn't even say the L word first. Let me take that back. Cause I really just realized that I did not say the L word first in that situation. They did, but they claimed it was an accident. Anyways, all I'm saying is I did not give myself the chance to really get to know this person before I jumped into it. I was willing to rush into anything with anyone just so I could say I'm in a relationship. Okay, and that is one of the most toxic things I feel like I could I could have done for myself, really. Just because you want a relationship so bad doesn't mean you have to accept whatever comes to you. You need to have your standards and you need to have your standards straight and you need to stand on business, okay? I am still disciplining myself when it comes to standing on business in regards to boundaries in relationships. Because sometimes I be given a discount. I haven't given a discount in a while though but I almost gave a discount to somebody recently and I'm glad it didn't work out because Anyways. don't settle for someone who is not as cute as you want. Don't settle for someone who doesn't have as much money as you want. Don't settle for someone who's not as tall as you want. Don't settle for someone who doesn't treat you the way you want, which is probably, which is the most important thing. If they are not treating you right, but you want them in your life just so you could say you want you're in a relationship girl you better look yourself in that mirror you better slap yourself in that mirror and you best to get going without that person in your life because there is nothing worse than going through a breakup and realizing this person isn't even what you wanted in the first place you just settled because you wanted to be in a relationship now you look dumb now you got trauma now you in your bed crying now you eating pizza in your bed at 3am gaining weight and shit 
okay like it is never that serious to jump into something with someone just because you want to be in a relationship that's not how it works like you already know you got to get to know the person you got to vibe with them connect and make sure they treat you right make sure they're actually what you want you know what i'm saying because ugh, i cannot tell you how many times i've gotten into stupid sh be just because I wanted to say that I was cuffed it's not that serious it's not that deep and it never will be and that's only gonna give you trauma that's only gonna give you drama that's only gonna give you problems it's only gonna give you things to have to heal from later when you could just be alone vibe out and wait for the person that actually fits your needs fits your standards to come into your life so please don't settle just because you want to be in the R word okay don't be dumb and lastly, I think this is very important. Okay, so let's say you really want to be in a relationship because you want to have <laughs> the nasty. <laughs> you're touch deprived, you're SEX deprived, you just want to, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. I don't know if I can say it on this YouTube here, but you just want to feel that feeling when you do that thing. <laughs> you're nasty. <laughs> and my that's all raven back anyways yeah so my advice to the people who are feeling touch deprived people that just want to you know da -da 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 -da, uh, uh, get a mother in toy get a mother in toy okay if you're the type of person who doesn't just want to sleep around with anyone but you really desire to have the big o get a toy and if you have a toy and it's not doing it get a new one let me tell something i went abstinent i went abstinent for like two years either a year or two years recently right there were some points where i was really craving that feeling you know and i was like i don't just want to have it with just anybody i don't want to hit up my old da -da 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 -da. Like, you know what let me just get a toy let me just get a toy let me just get a toy and I got that toy and my cravings have subsided since, okay? You are my family, so I got to keep it real with y'all. I did, I did end up breaking the whole abstinent thing by accident. But now I'm back on it. And honestly, a toy will take you a long way. Even if you're a guy. If you're a guy, especially, do not be ashamed to get you a toy. Do not be ashamed to get you a little fake booty and pop 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 don't be afraid if you're abstinent or if having the thing with other people is just not an option but you really want it get yourself a toy and you will feel better because let me tell you toys do it better than humans i never met a d-i-c-k that vibrates okay let's talk about it you don't have to shave you don't have to wax it'll it accepts you as you are plus it's always there for you if it's under your pillow boom, you take it out da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. it's very fun <laughs> it's very convenient it gets the job done and it really subsides the cravings for da -da 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 -da. i hope y'all understand the cold words and the cold noises i'm making because i really don't want to get banned on youtube honestly get you this way that's that's also that is something i would tell my younger self for when she was really really craving but didn't want to give her body up or whatever i'm not gonna talk to you from a religious perspective because that's on you but if you're if religion is not in the way of you enjoying time by yourself if you know what I mean there's nothing to be ashamed of like if you want to you know <laughs> with yourself like you should not feel ashamed you should not feel guilty like there you just should not feel any type of negative emotions and trust me I know I've been there I felt all the shame I felt all the guilt but now I realize yo like <laughs> If I'm gonna be abstinent and sometimes I'm gonna get the big H and then I'm gonna want the big O, why should I feel bad about wanting the big O? It's a part of life. I'm pretty sure everybody wants the big O. But yeah, just to wrap it up, if I was big single, but I was really, really feeling for a relationship, I was feeling for relationships so hard that I would want to be in a relationship with just anybody just because I want to be in a relationship, I would want this video or I'd want someone to tell me not to settle just because I want to be in a relationship, to enjoy being alone. I'd also remind myself that it is okay to date myself and it's fun to date myself and there's so many different ways to date yourself. And the last thing, like I said, I would get me the toy. <laughs> That is pretty much 
it for today's topic. Thank you so much for watching. If you like videos like these, leave a comment down below. Let me know. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like, and I'll see you like next week. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>